31, I had a question coming out of section 9.4, number 45, and here we were asked to find the sum of the infinite geometric series. And I can see that it's infinite because I've got an infinity up here. So if I have a geometric series, good things to know are always a sub 1 and r. And I'll put this is true for either a, really a geometric series or a sequence. Um, we technically have a series here, but a series is just adding terms of a sequence. And the geometric series formula, if it's infinite, is a sub 1 over 1 minus r, pending that your r is less than 1 in absolute value. So let's see if we can figure out our a1 value and our r value before we get going. So a sub 1 would be plugging in n equaling 1 into this formula. So let me go ahead and do that. That would be 4.6 times 0 0.5 to the 1 minus 1. That would be 4.6 times 0 0.5 to the 0. And anything to the 0 is 1, so that's just 4.6. So that's good to keep in mind. a sub 1 is 4.6. Now your r value, whenever you're looking for your r, it's the base of your power. And in this case, that is 0.5 or 1 half. And just taking a look at this r value, its absolute value is less than 1, because its absolute value is 1 half, and 1 half is less than 1, which means this series converges, which means I can use this formula. So then you just see me over here plugging in those two numbers, right? I plugged in a sub 1 being 4.6, r being 0.5, and when I crunch that, I get that my, my infinite sum would actually be 9.2. All right, thanks so much. Bye.